Okay, so good morning everyone. Uh, it's Clemens again. Uh, today I'm actually got something exciting planned. I'm gonna go on a gyrocopter ride. Um, I'm at the Morningstar airfield. Okay, so I'm fortunate enough to be able to interview the pilot, Len Klopper. Um, I'm just gonna ask him a couple of questions uh, before we we take off. Uh, so Len, thank you very much for, for agreeing for this interview. Um, I just want to ask you quickly, uh, what is a gyrocopter exactly? A lot of people get confused between a gyrocopter and a helicopter. A helicopter flies by driving the wind down under its rotor with pitch change. We have no pitch change. So our rotor stays constant pitch, but we can increase or decrease the angle of attack with speed. As long as we have a propeller pushing us forward, creating apparent wind, we will fly. Like, do you remember those little fans you got on a stick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you rode on a bicycle, and you rode really fast, the stick would bend. Yeah. That, that lift is exactly what takes up, us up into the air. Okay, great uh, stuff. And as long as we have forward motion, we can fly. Uh, okay. If the engine does stop, we glide very nicely and we can land in a tennis court. Great. So we don't need a runway to land, we just need a square area to land. Thanks. Okay, so Len, so how long have gyrocopters been around? Uh, a Spaniard, Juan de la Sierva, in 1923, discovered auto rotational forces on rotors and built the very first gyrocopter in 1923. You may remember that there were no helicopters in the Second World War, so 1945, no helicopters. 1947, the first commercial helicopter took to the air, it was a Bell 47. Um, so you can think from 1923 till 1947, the only rotorcraft that flew were gyroplanes. Okay, that's quite interesting, thanks for that. So, Len, how many flying hours do you have on these gyrocopters? I mean, my safety is in your hands today, so I need to make sure that you are uh, quite competent. I got my license on Monday. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had me there. Yeah, I've got 1,200 helicopter hours and I have 5,000 instruction hours on gyros and 2,000 private flying hours. So I have 7,000 gyro hours. Okay, so so I'm in pretty safe hands uh, today, right? Uh, I got my license in 1990. Okay, so no, that, that's great. Yeah, I'm an old pilot. You don't get old pilots and bold pilots. You either get old pilots or bold pilots. <laughs> We're going to take off in a direction 20, which is 200 degrees, um, which is just a little of bit right of south. New south would be 180, so we're at 200 degrees. We'll take off in a southerly direction. We'll turn to the west. We'll go towards Melkbos Big Bay. We'll climb up to about 3,000 feet, then we'll go out towards Robben Island, over, out over the ocean, towards Cape Town. Probably go up to about 4,000 feet there. Okay, uh, great. So we can get a really good view of, of Cape Town, and Table Bay, and Table Mountain, and even behind Table from that elevation. Great. And uh, you said the highest you've ever been was... Seven... I've been, I've been 17,500 feet in the <laughs> yeah. Okay, it, that, it, that must be... It, yeah, that's quite really high. cold. It was minus 6 degrees outside. Oh, shit. Um, okay. And we were dressed the way we are now, which wasn't pleasant at all. Oh, I can imagine. Next, next time we'll take oxygen and we'll dress properly. <laughs> You're not allowed above 10,000 for more than half an hour if you don't have oxygen. Oxygen, okay. But, but, but that's interesting to know as well. So anyway, um, I think let's get ready. Uh